Hello everybody, it's Mike Patterson from White Turtle Adventures here in Southern Alberta, Canada. Welcome back to my van. So a lot of people have been wondering where I am. Well, I'm right here. Um, I guess the last time you would have had a video about me would have been in probably the middle of October, early part of October. And I was up at Kananaskis and then I went to Banff, then I went to Yoho, did a little bit on the Icefield Parkway, and then I went up to David Thompson Country. And it was actually a really nice time. Um, the weather was okay. It cooperated sometimes. I got a good snowstorm here and there, but overall it was pretty good. Then I got back to Southern Alberta and well, shall we say, I got nailed with a snowstorm and another snowstorm and another snowstorm. And we had snow. And it seemed like almost every weekend we had another snowstorm. And it just kept coming and coming and coming. The temperatures dropped, the snow came, and then the winds came to melt the snow, and then the snow came, and it's been like that since. So instead of taking the van out, just to say that I got the van out, I've left the van parked for most of that time, and I've done something that's strange to many van lifers. I went to work, and I've been working at my studio. Because of COVID, my studio itself taking pictures is actually shut down. Um, I do have also a printing area that I print for people and I print my nature and wildlife work for people that want to buy it. And that's been actually pretty busy, but the studio itself is pretty much closed as well as my in-person teaching. So that's pretty much shut down as well. But thankfully that I've been selling a lot of prints and doing a lot of printing. So that's been pretty good. Done a little bit of work on the van, not a ton of work on the van, um, just because of the way the weather's been and because of my schedule. Uh, one thing that I did do, and I'll show you here, you can see the screen at the back of the van or the blanket at the back of the van. I do that every winter. And what that's for is that's for keep the cold from the door from getting to the bed area. And it works wonderful. I take my screen down, which is up there by Velcro. And then I put that up and it helps keep the bed area really warm. Uh, the other thing that I did was I put my electric heater in here, which is down on the floor, which you can't see. Um, and that's so when I have hookups, I can turn on my electric heater. I've also cleaned out a lot of the food supplies, the canned goods and stuff, and moved that inside. It's kept in a Tupperware container, so I am ready to grab it if I head out. I do have all my freeze-dried food in here still, just in case I head out and on short notice. So I'm ready for that. And that's about all that I've really done to it. Uh, tonight I'm just out doing some stuff outside and just around the van and a couple things to the van. Um, I have it plugged in right now, so I've actually got the battery charger on it. Um, I took it out for a run the other day on a semi-calm day just to get a run into it. This weekend, I'm going to see if I can get away for a day at least. Um, the schedule's not looking good. I've got some personal stuff that um, I'll be doing. I've got some business stuff that I'll have to be doing. So I may get away for a little bit. Um, there is a report that we're supposed to get some good northern lights. So if that happens, I'd like to even get out just to do some pictures and such and some video. But we'll have to see how that works out. Um, not a lot else has changed in the van. I've been looking at if I did change things, what I would change. And there's a few small things that I would like to change. And if I ever rebuilt the van, I've got a couple ideas if I did rebuild the van. But honestly, when I come out here, there's nothing I really need in here. I think the one thing I'm going to try to do the next warm spell, and it's actually a, quite a big project, is I'm, I'd like to get a duct off the furnace and put it underneath the bed just to warm that area up when it's really cold. Um, I can open a cupboard here, and it's actually... Un goes under the bed and a lot of heat does get in there but I think I would like to get an actual vent under there just to keep it a little bit warm. It's also where my batteries are. Now unlike some people I'm not terrified of what my batteries are doing. Uh, they're AGM batteries so they're, they're not a lithium battery. I don't have to worry about the cold quite so much. Yes the cold does reduce the capacity of them and so on and so forth but during the day, the van gets warm enough that the bulk of the batteries gets nice and warm. And so overnight, they don't cool off that much. Even if it's minus 10 or 20 outside, the shell of the van is actually pretty warm. 
and they're sitting on a warm floor. It has an insulated floor there, so it's not like it's sitting on metal and having all that sucked out. So it's actually, there's not really a lot that I would like to do to the van. So I'll think I'll head out. I'm going to take the dog for a walk and try to enjoy this nice weather. Uh, it's snowing outside right now and it's a little bit foggy, so it's really nice. The winds finally have gone down, so we'll see how things are. So until next time, take care of yourselves, stay safe out there, and we'll talk to you soon.